Hello everyone, I am Shalu. Welcome to my channel where I post videos related to books. In today's video, I am going to share with you my first book haul of the year. So without further ado, let's get started. The first book in today's haul is the Japanese bestseller, The Kamogawa Food Detectives by Hishashi Kashiwai. I was seeing this book all over bookstagram and the cover with a cat and a bowl of noodles seemed quite intriguing. Let's see the book blurb. What is the one dish you would do anything to taste just one more time? Down a quiet back street in Kyoto exists a very special restaurant called the Kamogawa Diner. Customers who can find the hidden establishment are treated to an extravagant meal, but it is not the main reason for visiting. The father-daughter duo who own the restaurant have started advertising their services as food detectives, capable of recreating a dish from their customers' past that may well hold the keys to unlocking forgotten memories and ongoing happiness. From the widower looking for a specific noodle dish that his wife used to cook to a first love's beef stew. The restaurant of lost recipes provides a link to the past and a way to a more contented future. So the blurb is quite interesting. It is giving me the vibes of Before the Coffee Gets Cold series. Let's see how it goes. Next book is a cozy fantasy which is also the book of the month for our book club. And the book is Legends in Latias by Travis Baldry. The tagline says, high fantasy, low stakes, good company. And the book blurb says, after decades of adventuring, Viv the Orc Barbarian is hanging up her sword for good. Now she sets her sights on a new dream, opening the first coffee shop in Thun. Even though no one there knows what coffee actually is, if Viv wants to realize her plans, she will need help from unexpected quarters. Yet rivals old and new stand in the way of success. And Thune's shady underbelly could make it all too easy for Viv to take up the blade once more. But the true reward of the uncharted path is the travellers you meet along the way. Whether bound by an ancient magic delicious pastries or a freshly brewed cup, they may become something deeper than Viv could ever have imagined. I have already read this book and it is such a warm fuzzy read. If you are looking for something delightful and cozy to read, then this is the book for you. And next up again there is a book which I have seen all over bookstagram and the book is Bunny by Mona Award. On the book cover there is a review by Margaret Atwood where she says, Oh Bunny you are too genius. Daily Mail says hilarious, hallucinogenic, freakery. Lena Dunham says delightful. New York Times says a wicked satire. Let's see the book blurb. Samantha Heather Mackey is an outsider in her small highly selective MFA program at Warren University. In fact, she is utterly repelled by the rest of her fiction writing cohort, a cliché of three rich girls who call each other bunny. But then, the bunnies issue her with an invitation, and Samantha finds herself inexplicably drawn to their front door, across the threshold and down their rabbit hole. Blending sharp satire with fairy tale horror, Bunny is a spellbinding trip of a novel from one of fiction's most original voices. Seems like a mix of dark academia and horror. I'll share the review with you once I am finished reading it. The next book is Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. I just love the book cover. The book is set in Russia and the book blurb says, Miriam is the daughter of a village money lender. But poverty beckons as her father is too kind hearted to collect his debts. Then Miriam hardens her own heart and takes up his work. Her success creates humors she can turn silver into gold which attract the fairy king of winter himself. He sets her an impossible challenge, and if she fails, she dies. Yet if she triumphs, a fate worse than death awaits. Irina's father schemes to wed her to the Tsar. However, their dashing ruler hides a terrible secret, threatening mortals and winter alike. Torn between deadly choices, Miriam and Irina embark on a quest. It's one that will encompass sacrifice, power, and even love. I had never heard of this book before, but I am reading it as a part of one of my book club reads. So far, I am enjoying the book. Let's see how it goes. And the next two books that I bought are a part of a trilogy. I was gifted The City of Brass by one of my friends, so I bought the other two books in the Devbar trilogy so that I could read it in one go. The second book in this series by Shannon Chakravarti is The Kingdom of Copper. The blurb says, once a con artist on the streets of Cairo, Nahari's life changed forever when she accidentally summoned Dara, a formidable and mysterious jinn, and was thrust into the dazzling royal court of Devbad. Now as Nahari embraces hidden heritage and past, she must forge a new path. Exiled for daring to defy his father, Ali is adrift on the unforgiving sands of his ancestral land. 
hunted by assassins and forced to rely on frightening new abilities that threaten to reveal a terrible family secret. As a new century approaches and the jinn gathers within Devabad's brass walls to celebrate, a power in the desolate north will bring a storm of fire straight to the city's gate. And the third book in the series is The Empire of Gold. The blurb says, after a brutal conquest stripped the city of magic, Nahid leader Banu and the resurrected Dara must try to stabilize their warring people. Meanwhile, Nari and Ali have safely escaped to Cairo. But Nari is haunted, knowing that the loved ones she left behind are now at the mercy of a tyrant. Ali too cannot help but look back, determined to rescue his city and the family that remains. Nari, Ali and Dara begin to realize that in order to remake the world, they may need to fight those they once loved and take a stand for those they once hurt. Reading this trilogy is going to be quite a commitment, but I'm sure it's going to be an enjoyable one. And the next book is Patjhar by Man of Call. And this is a signed copy. I have no idea what this book is about. I bought this because I love Man of Call's writing. Let's see the blurb. I was just saying that if I don't read the book, if I don't want to go to these two places, then maybe I would go out of the whole museum and go out of the museum. For the first time, I was looking at their colors on their own. Their brush strokes, their own pain, all of them were all over. Their own picture, the picture of making the picture, the picture of making the picture, is also with them. I was standing in front of their painting, weeping nude, I was standing in front of their eyes. I was standing in front of them. वो मेरे जीवन के रंग थे वो मेरे अकेलेपन कमीनेपन के रंग थे अगर कोई पूछे कि गहरी उदासी कैसी होती है तो मैं मंच की किसी पेंटिंग के तरफ ही इशारा करूंगा नॉट मच ऑफ एन आइडिया फ्रॉम द ब्लब बट आई गेस दिस इज अगेन अ बुक ऑफ हिज फिलोसफिकल म्यूजिंग्स गोइंग टू बी एन इंटरेस्टिंग वन एंड द लास्ट वन इन टूडेज हॉल इज अ जर्नल वन क्वेश्चन अ डे अ फाइव ईयर जर्नल अ पर्सनल टाइम कैप्सूल ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स So this is a journal that I gifted myself this new year. So there is one question on each page of the day and it is a five year journal. So I can use this journal for coming five years. And that's all for today's book haul. Have you read any of the books featured in this haul? If yes, then do share your thoughts in the comment section. Also share with me which books you have bought recently or if you have any recommendations for me. And if you have enjoyed this book haul, then please like, comment and share. And if you want to see more such bookish content, then please subscribe to my channel. And do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a new video. And in my next video, bye and take care.